Hello, this is Brian. So we're a little bit up the trail, and my inner herpetologist is getting excited. Here's a type of lizard. I need to, I really needed to bring my identification book with me, but I need to do some collection. I wonder if this is a collared lizard. I'm gonna have to do some research. Now, this is a type of lizard I've never seen before. But when I do the research, I will put a link in the comments. But so we're climbing up the PCT, and we got this beautiful lizard here. Yes, well, so I'm excited. Beautiful about little guy. Well, Never seen this species that. before because when I was hiking here the last time, it was cold and overcast, and no lizards were out. But we got this little lizard right here. I need to get some juveniles. I need to see what permit I need. To... I'm not sure if that's a collared lizard, but I will. Uh, I will look it up, and I'll put the name of it on uh, the clip number and, and in the description. But look at that beautiful lizard. Absolutely wow, stunning. The first time I've ever nice. seen one of these. I mean, my friend and I already saw some Cyblotch lizards, yeah, well, which... Really but look at this beautiful guy. Well, I wish I could do some breeding, some collection and breeding. I believe that might be a collared lizard. Some type of collared lizard, but I'll try to find the more specific type of lizard that is. Beautiful. Look at that tail. I know. Right by the bush loop. Male. That's probably a male. That, that could, I think, might be a male. But females maybe might be though. Yeah, I need to find out how to call. What permit do I need to take to the dog? To... Well, in a wilderness area, I don't know. Oh yeah, a lot of areas you'd have to have a fishing license. Oh okay, to collect it for breeding purposes. So I probably need the scientific license. Probably. But he, being in the Owens Peak wilderness, they might frown upon that. Yeah, so I'll probably see if I, well, I'm pretty sure there are another, well, probably natural spot where you can collect these and just omit the collection. But yeah, that's, I think that might be some type of a collared lizard. But like I said, I'm going to do research. I have some books on amphibians and reptiles. So I will be referring to that as soon as I get home. When I start uploading the videos, I'm going to look and see what species that is. Uh, I hate not knowing when I see it because I love, I just have a natural curiosity, but sometimes you, you'll find something, you don't know what it is, you got to do a little research. So we've been climbing up, it's a steady little trail, still on the PCT, and right there is peak 5952 that my friend and I were almost going to climb today as well. Yeah, it's a beautiful ridge, probably have to do some side hilling, but... I think it would be a definitely reasonable peak to reach. But now, we're still climbing up. Very steady, very gradual. Not as many wildflowers as in 2019, I'll tell you that. Very much, so there's still nice wildflowers to see. We still have a lot of, yeah, we still have our, yeah, it's just not, not as much coverage as in 2019. We've got desert tick seed right there, left field sine, uh, big alluvium. Get like a wildflower mix. Yeah, yeah, I would love that. Maybe overwinter them. But a lot of these plants are going to be herbaceous, I mean herbaceous annuals, so that'll require, hopefully they get to the flower and seed stage so they'll reset in your garden bed. Right, right, you need not to And then they'll come back year after year, new, new plants. Yeah something very refreshing to see. And there's another lizard that just ran up the hill. Me too. Let's see if I can find it to take a look at it, but... Yeah, I think it went into the so I think it went into the soil or something. Yeah, rocks real quick. yeah, I was gonna try to see if I could identify what it was, but like, not so. Well, since this is an area I've only been to a couple times, and during colder weather when nothing's out, 
gets kind of neat when you get warmer weather. Yeah. And you start seeing different species of lizards I'm not used yeah. to seeing in Orange County. But there, another one too. Oh, oh yeah, dang! They're coming out probably spring. Maybe they're breeding time or something. They're coming out. They're probably coming out of hibernation. Yeah. Wow. Well, I don't know, especially with this partially sunny weather, we got a thin yeah. high layer, thin high cloud layer above us, but enough for the lizards to bask out in the sun. I think we're going to be seeing lots of lizards today. Me too. I have a good feeling. Yeah, we're going to the next one. Where I don't, where it's not wilderness, boy, you see about collecting the lizards. I think... You didn't step on trees once I get juveniles, maybe set them back in a while if I keep them alive. So I, don't just look at the I think for, for uh, most species of reptile and amphibian, yeah. I think you would have to have a fishing license. Oh, right, right, right. So I think a fishing license. license. A fishing game, huh? I think so. so. Yeah, I need to see about how to play that. Uh, I think Tell it's... We're, we're trying out the species of lizards from this Yeah. But I think, but I think next time before I come out to this area, yeah. I'm gonna bone up on my herpetology, learn my lizards and snakes and amphibians that are found in this area. So when I come, once I see it, like, oh yo, that's a such and such lizard. Oh, that's a such and such snake. Yeah. But this gives me something to look forward to when I go home and researching it. I think this stuff is fantastically interesting. Exactly. That's exactly what I said when I was talking about uh, trying to study some plants that I've seen that I didn't know about in the Santa Anas. I was thinking, yeah, I have a learning curve. There's always something to learn that And that's what I think makes the experience even more interesting is you learning about the stuff. Yes. Yeah. Some people do very little to some people. Right. Yeah. Like me, you know me, I'm always trying to get to the conifers and stuff. Yeah. But then you I think I'm going to come to this just Yes. Very true. That is very true. It's always good to have an open mind and appreciation. Especially when you're a nature person. Yes. You like the, you love. love. And it's like y you and I, we both have a thirst for knowledge. Yes, yes. I, I love certain, especially things about things on that age with me. Yes. So when we have, when we're out in nature, we're thinking, we're trying to learn what things are. Just makes the experience all that more interesting to me. Let's see. My friend and I are going to keep climbing. We're going to eventually run into a set of switchbacks. They're going to take us up the wall of the mountain. This is a beautiful hike. Makes good habitat here. Yeah, it does. It really does. That's for lizards. Or, or yes. For, uh, reptiles. Well, my friend and I will see you on the next clip. We'll see you somewhere by the switchbacks. We'll see you on clip number three.